shuttle services. So there's VIP car service from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Mostly goes to the ferry terminal, but also the border gate. The problem is it doesn't go to the border gate until 9 a.m. So it's about 6.30, almost 7 a.m. now. So I need to get to the border gate quick so that I can get across the border and get a train ticket back to Zhongshan. Back on the China border now, and everything is a lot more spread out and spacious. It lacks charm. <laughs> yeah, it's China. Um, I'm not saying China is not full of charm. It's just. Gongbei is not <laughs> compared to Macau, which is, you know, hundreds of years old. It was 1600s or something, and uh, you know, Zhuhai is trying to become a, a modern city. Uh, in the Gongbei district, it's you know, it's a border side, but the other parts of Zhuhai are indeed becoming very modern and, and very nice. You know, this early in the morning, getting across the border is not so bad. The crowds are small. It's in the afternoons that it really gets long. I mean, it could take up to three hours to get through both checkpoints. But here, not so bad. And as I was coming across the border this time, the uh, nice uh, immigration guy told me that uh, because I have a residence permit and I live in China, that I can use the electronic channel. I don't have to use the foreigner uh, channel anymore because they do biometrics. They do fingerprinting and they have facial recognition so with my visa I just uh, go to that channel the camera scans my face takes my fingerprints and says yep he's allowed to be here and it's supposed to be a lot faster so we'll try that in the future that sounds very very cool so there are some good things coming of this stuff back at Zhuhai's massive train station this is built for future uh, rail lines that head west and they are building those lines right now you can see all the construction which will be really cool because you can head off to Yangjiang and Mao Ming from here rather than having to go all the way to Guangzhou to catch those lines but uh, this early in the morning doesn't look like there's very many people which is great we'll see how early a train I can get because I need to get back to Zhongshan as soon as I can and get ready for the day see the lines are long there's only two lines and this could take you know 30 minutes 45 minutes to get through this line it's one of the problems that I, as a foreigner you have to wait in line I can't go to the little kiosk and buy my ticket like everybody else yeah that took about 30 minutes to get to the front of the line and those two ladies just jumped right in front of me uh, jumped the line I tapped them on the shoulder they said well we're, we're Chinese we can do whatever we want kind of thing you know, I was like I'm not gonna argue with you nobody else argued with them I just don't want to cause a scene so I let them go but that happens a lot and it's very upsetting you know right when you think okay everyone's lining up everyone's queuing you know China's getting better there's still a few bad actors out there that well this shit bothers me but what can you do it is getting better I got my ticket and my train doesn't leave for another hour which means I won't get I have to stay here for an hour waiting for my train you know, an hour and a half process to get a ticket wait for your train um, I wish um, I could just go to the kiosks and everyone says, oh, just buy them online. And yeah, I can reserve them online, but I still have to wait in that line with my passport in order to pick them up because I can't use the kiosks. So here's a new and welcome site. There's like a little hidden McDonald's up here that nobody knows about. Cool. And then I have a Kung Fu chicken. This is all brand new. <laughs> Very nice. I find it interesting that you have this size is you really can do whatever you want overlooking the border between Zhuhai and Macau because as you all know 
normal Chinese citizens cannot go to Macau without a visa, even though it's technically part of China. And if you look out here, this is the border. <clears throat> There's a river that separates, it's like a ravine that separates Macau and mainland China here. And over there, that's some of the most densely populated parts of the world. I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. And then you have Sun Yat-sen Park here, where everyone's going walking and running in the morning, getting their exercise. Uh, people from Macau are very athletic. They, they take health very seriously, it seems. Um, but look at the, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's this circled barbed wire along this fence. So there's no way to get from here to there. So you really can't do everything you want, can you? Headed north. All this is going to be one giant development of homes and offices and hotels and a marina. And across the bay here is Hong Kong and Shenzhen. And they will be building a bridge slash tunnel that goes from here out to there. And you can see they've already started building some of these nice little townhouses. There's only like three of them that are lived in. There's some more. Yeah, they're completely empty. But they're good looking though. And even more apartments. All of this will be apartment blocks and housing. <laughs> 